Hi there folks and welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is February 22nd, 2022. And welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by the Tanzania School Foundation. There are links in the description below should you like to learn more. Big news coming at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned. The Russia-Ukraine incursion is going to increase the price of oil. We are being warned. We know that crude oil has gone up. It was at $99 a barrel today. It did come down a little bit, but they are expecting prices to soar even 30% higher than they are now. We have to wait and see what kind of effect this is going to have, but Russia is a huge player and supplier of oil. So that is something to be on the lookout for. We also saw the stock market come down over 400 points there. That's where it closed, but it was a volatile day. NASDAQ and S&P closed down as well. Futures are up right now, but who knows what tomorrow will bring. Also, this Russia-Ukraine incursion is being blamed on the possibility that the Fed will not raise interest rates after March. They're pretty committed to going up a quarter of a percent, 0.25% in March. They have to wait and see. This inflation, especially with oil and gasoline prices, is just setting them back. There is slowing growth, and with the prices that are going to skyrocket, people are just not either going to go anywhere or they're not going to be spending the prices that are coming. These crude oil prices don't just aff affect the United States. Forget the UK. Their prices are through the roof already. They pay twice as much for gasoline than we do. We don't know how lucky we are. And which leads me to my big news. I booked my flights and I am going back to Tanzania next Tuesday. So next Tuesday night, you will not be seeing a video from me, but we will be filming in Tanzania. We will see the prices of crude oil, the prices of food, and we are going to give you a tour like you've never seen before. I'm going to have you meet some of my friends there, the local Tanzanians, and they can explain how business has been for them. We are going on a road trip and I am taking you along with me and I am really excited. I have not gone back in two years. I got stuck there in March of 2020 and Delta Airlines told me, I'm sorry, we can't get you home. Please call the State Department. Luckily, I caught an Ethiopian flight home a week later. It was their last one. Delta Airlines still had a half a ticket for me today, so I only paid $388 round trip. Now, if you follow along and you really enjoy Tanzania, maybe you can make it on your travel destination because we offer volunteer trips with a short safari in there as well. Anyway, we're going to be going live. I'm going to have some more videos before then, but I just wanted to share. I'm a bit anxious, I'm a bit nervous, and I am totally excited. A lot to do. Been looking for that damn PCR test, which lead me to tell you that they are taking advantage of travelers because anytime you need a test to travel, well, here in Massachusetts, Within, to get the results in 24 hours, they are 225 buckaroonies. Anyway, that did not sit well with me. I am still searching. I'm leaving on a Tuesday, so I could get tested on a Sunday, but a lot of places are not open on Sundays. Those are the reasonable ones. Anyway, I hope you look forward to coming along with me. And I will talk to you again real soon. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Call someone, tell them you love them, be kind, and have a great night.